So it's about time that American Horror Story Cult is now playing, is now on. It's on TV. It is. So tonight's episode, uh, this is going to be a non-spoiler review, so no spoilers here. But let's talk about the new season of American Horror Story and what Ryan Murphy has to offer this time around. And you know what? Mm. The things I really liked about this episode was overall the acting, I mean, of Evan Peters' acting. I mean, I think this this guy always puts in a performance. I mean, I don't doubt this guy ever, ever again. I thought he was a little bit uh, too much when it came to American Horror Story Hotel, but he kind of really won me over in that season. But this season, he's right off strong start by him. Uh, I really liked some of the dialogue that they gave him in this episode. Uh, let's just say he's not a typical kind of character he always plays. He's a little bit more loonier, so to speak. But in this episode, what I didn't uh, I already know going into American Horror Story Cult what this kind of is about? It's kind of about you know Donald Trump, the politics of things, clowns running around, uh, Twisty coming back. It was good to see Twisty, by the way. Uh, there is a certain way why he's in this series, but I gotta say, like, even though I know what I was getting into, I still just it's just kind of obnoxious you know i like i'm the type of guy that i love the rules for barbershops okay uh no politics no religion uh i like that one thing i hated in this episode was actually sarah paulson i love sarah paulson i think she is a kick-ass actress i think she nails everything she uh, everything every role she gets from american horror story but this role has her just being so annoying i get why they have her being like this but it just comes off so annoying you don't want to root for her you don't care about her honestly uh her partner that she's with she's she's barely a character as it is in this first episode there's really nothing too layered about uh, these two characters there's not really anything layered about these characters except uh peter's this character but other than that like it's just it, uh, sarah paulson comes off as whiny and i'm hoping that it gets better uh, especially what, why they're doing it that way, but it just was really hard to watch. Just her constantly crying in this episode. That's really the bad thing about this episode. This wasn't a good episode, guys. There's a lot of cool elements about it. There's a lot of good horrific things that are happening in this episode. I get it psychologically, and even actually kind of stranger, uh, not stranger things, but like the strangers kind of type. Still, uh, my horror horrific thing is people breaking in. You know people breaking in real life situations where you have to make a decision uh is this person a murderer or is this person just looking to get some loot and go is this is a kid is this an adult uh is this a woman this is a man Th like that's that is real life situation that situation of where you're asleep and somebody's in your house that's a scary situation to me and they present that in this uh, episode as well but they also present the psychological of what a person might have when it comes to their uh, phobia for their phobia or what they really are you know what triggers that phobia it's not working you know this first episode i felt like it didn't work at all i felt like there was just a lot of things that just was really messy it was really messy there's one scene with uh peters where he's in the courtroom talking about like uh about a bill that was a great scene because peters delivers his lines he's a great actor uh lord Ed, carrie fisher's daughter who's coming from screen queens I, I got her inner chanel in this episode honestly but there is some moments where she's kind of like uh, her character is a little is definitely interesting especially with her relationship with peters but what i got from her too uh when this these one particular scenes where she's not channeling chanel and she's actually trying to be like act like she's a nice girl i thought that was a, that was pretty solid acting in that part but then most of the time i got chanel from her honestly didn't really care for the episode it started getting interesting towards the end which i was like oh shit when it actually got to the clowns and horror um aspect to it because we know that there's going to be clowns in there uh clowns in here of uh, that was that were in here in this episode was used pretty crazy uh there was a lot of there was a lot of great kind of i could see a little callbacks to uh maybe clockwork orange a little bit so i did like a little bit of the clown aspect of it and i love to see my love seeing my boy twisty but yeah uh 
Go yeah, check out the episode. Um, tell me what you guys think about it. So thank you guys for listening. I'm Dan the Manic Down Sun, but now it is a new channel where it's the Two Geeks Review. Uh, hope you uh, see James's review because we are partnering up on this channel and give you more content. So see you guys.